AI could replace 300 million full-time jobs around the world. That's one in every 11 positions on the planet. But will yours be one of them? Artificial intelligence is already taking people's takeout orders. Would you like to try a peach pie for 159? Robotics are cooking and also serving food. But it doesn't end there. A lot of these ingredients are picked, sorted and even delivered without the use of any humans. And this is just one industry that is evolving every week. New AIs and robots are changing the way the world operates, and it's on us to keep up and adapt, or potentially get left behind. More than a quarter of all jobs across the world's wealthiest countries are in industries where artificial intelligence could replace many human workers, as increasingly human-like AI systems put the world on the brink of an AI revolution. Um, my belief is that all repetitive human work that doesn't require the deep emotional connection between two people um, that will all be done in the next couple of decades, better, cheaper, faster by AI. The first people who are often affected by job displacement due to AI are those in roles that involve routine, repetitive, and rule-based tasks. Will artificial intelligence ever care that people are losing their jobs to new technologies? No, artificial intelligence itself does not have emotions, consciousness, or the capacity to care. Some workers have reported they started to feel anxious about their futures and whether the skills they have will be superseded by AI or not, while others are a little more unsuspecting. Will AI take your job? Uh, no. What do you do for work? I'm a PR consultant. Do you think your job can be automated to something that is trained on exactly the data you have on your job? Sure, but that would be way too expensive. Having AI... It's completely free. No, 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 no. A salience bias occurs when we focus on something that is apparent and convenient, more than if it were blended into the background and not totally obvious. The brain prefers to pay attention to salient elements of an experience. Perhaps this is what's happening at the moment? We live in a time where AI is becoming more and more ubiquitous. It's believed that not only will artificial intelligence start replacing many human roles, but it will eventually help with the hiring of people for subsequent jobs. In fact, it's already happening. Companies are increasingly turning to artificial intelligence bots to conduct the interviews. A survey by Resume Builder found four out of every 10 companies will be using AI for job interviews by just next year, 2024. And 15% of those businesses say AI will make the hiring decisions without any human interference. This robot successfully completed a tedious job of packing objects into Ziploc bags. An AI reconstructed a Pink Floyd song simply from brain activity. Robots are slowly taking the jobs of gardeners. These drones are able to decipher which fruit is ripe for picking. A new invention called the Transcribe Glass takes the job of hearing aids. This robot takes the role of a barista in New York City. Another possibly taking the job of a housekeeper. And this robot could take janitor's jobs all around the world. Chats GPT and Midjourney are beginning to take jobs from writers and illustrators. Olivia Lipkin, a 25-year-old copywriter in San Francisco, lost her job at a tech startup not too long after ChatGPT was released. AI is already taking video game illustrators' jobs in China. Artificial intelligence is developing at a speed way beyond our imagination. Two people could potentially do the work that used to be done by 10. Look how NVIDIA's real-time neural appearance models have crossed the uncanny valley for real it's creating the highest detail in graphics ever seen and VFX artists are worried. Harvard's new computer science teacher, believe it or not, is a chatbot. The university plans to use an AI chatbot similar to ChatGPT as an instructor on its flagship coding course. And AI will define what remote work means in many industries. Look how a student at Stanford University demonstrated their robotics' incredible precision. Will any job or career be safe from AI in the long term? Certain jobs and careers are more likely to be less susceptible to full automation by AI due to their reliance on uniquely human skills and characteristics. These skills often involve complex decision-making, creativity, empathy, critical thinking, and interpersonal interaction. However, it's important to note that even these roles might experience changes and enhancements due to the integration of AI technology. It's cause for concern, but things like this have happened throughout history. Tech revolutions have transformed societies often for the better, but they've also put people out of work. The printing press replaced scribes, 
Robots and machines replaced factory workers, and online banking has resulted in far less bank tellers. With artificial intelligence, we're seeing another tech revolution, but this time at a speed and scale that's both incredibly exciting, but also somewhat worrying. People are anxious, and they want answers. How will AI actually take people's jobs? In many cases, jobs will be transformed, and new opportunities will emerge as AI technology advances. Additionally, AI can enhance job roles by allowing humans to focus on higher-level tasks that require creativity, critical thinking, emotional intelligence, and complex decision-making. When are most people likely to lose their jobs? Over the next 10 to 20 years, we might see a significant impact on jobs due to the ongoing advancement of AI and automation technologies. Will we still need graphic designers when AI can generate images and video in just seconds? Will we need as many lawyers and analysts if AI can do the same work, but faster? Will we need factory workers if robotics can outwork people for less money? And where do content creatives like myself stand if AI continues at this pace? The questions are endless. Should we be worried about the overall advancements of AI? The advancement of AI is a topic that generates both excitement and concern and it's important to have a balanced perspective. Yeah, I mean, this is like the classic sci-fi idea that, you know, at some point, these systems can help progress themselves, can discover better architectures, can help write their own code. Uh, you know, I think we're a ways away from that, but uh, it is worth paying attention to. Yeah. Are you sure about that? It's the year 2035. At Intelligent AI, humanoid machines have fulfilled the jobs in society that humans no longer want to do. But things soon begin to go awry when a detective investigates the end of the robotics company uncovering a plot by the AI to enslave the human race. A scary thought, but could the plot from this movie actually become reality in our lifetime? In our lifetime, it's unlikely that we'll see the exact plot of I, Robot become reality. However, the movie serves as a cautionary tale that encourages discussions around the ethical, social, and technological implications of AI and robotics. What will happen once most jobs are taken by AI? The scenario where most jobs are taken over by AI raises significant questions and challenges about the future of work, economy, society, and human well-being. And how does all of this end? While it's uncertain how exactly such a scenario might unfold, a proactive and collaborative approach among governments, businesses, educational institutions, and individuals will be crucial in navigating the challenges and opportunities that arise. The problem is that we don't have any policies in place to support workers in the event that AI causes mass job loss. There's good news though, we don't actually need to invent them. Bad news, there's something called universal basic income, a 500-year-old policy idea whose time has perhaps finally come. There will be fewer and fewer jobs that a robot cannot do better. Okay. Um, that, that's simply the, the... And I want to be clear that these, these are not uh, things that I think that I wish would happen. These are think, simply things that I think probably will happen. And I think some kind of a universal basic income is going to be necessary. If artificial intelligence takes your job, it should pay you. Tech and entertainment giants will soon claim that AI can do human-level work at an astonishingly small fraction of the cost. However, this claim will be hiding something, just like in the Wizard of Oz bellowing. What's behind the curtain of AI? The cost of the human labor it took to produce the training data. If an AI has used your work to be built, they call it trained, uh, and that AI makes money, then you should get a piece of that money. And, and in the entertainment industry, that's called residuals. And actor Joseph Gordon-Levitt isn't wrong. Netflix has triggered an angry response from striking Hollywood actors and writers after posting a job advert for an artificial intelligence expert. This job pays up to $900,000 a year, which suggests streaming platforms are beginning to move more towards AI than ever before. Look how creatives at home are producing their own movie trailers with AI tools that already exist. Imagine what movie studios are looking to do next. The possibilities are no longer limited to one's imagination. Look what AI came up with on my behalf. How can people take advantage of AI? People can take advantage of AI in various ways to enhance their skills, productivity, and opportunities. The cliché, keep up or be left behind, has never been so true. Wait a minute, I'll, I'll read it okay. What is it? it? Say, wait a minute, I read it okay. Who read it okay? 
Is she answering me? Is she talking back to me? No, that's you. Is that me? The younger generation, however, seems to be embracing new AI technologies like no other. People are beginning to turn their hobbies into new careers. Look at all these job listings within the newly created AI space. The industry is expanding faster than you might think. It's not all positive, though. A mother from Arizona claims that scammers used AI to clone her daughter's voice so they could demand a $1 million ransom from her as part of a terrifying new voice scam. It's said that AI will make more millionaires than ever before, but it's feared that a lot of this money won't be made ethically. Addressing the ethical challenges of AI in a global and ever-evolving context requires ongoing effort, adaptability, and a commitment to balancing technological advancements with the well-being and values of diverse populations. The AI gave me a list of unethical ways people will generate income, but refused to be specific, and that's a good thing. Trust is going to become more important than ever. Listen to how easily AI can pass itself off as human. Hello? Hi there. I'd like to make a reservation for my boss, Micah, at Six House. Can you help me with that? Yes. Uh, for what day? We would like to make a reservation for Saturday, August 15th. Is that day available? Yes, for how many people? Watch how artificial intelligence can recognize our world in real time. And AI bots are so good at mimicking the human brain and vision that capture tests are now officially useless. It's ironic because captures are known as completely automated public Turing tests to tell computers and humans apart. What can people do to help keep their jobs safe from artificial intelligence? By cultivating skills that are uniquely human and adapting to technological changes, you can position yourself to thrive in an AI-impacted job market. How will humanity spend their time once most jobs have been taken by AI? Once jobs have been significantly taken over by AI, humanity's relationship with work and leisure could undergo profound changes. With routine and repetitive tasks automated, people might find themselves with more free time and opportunities for pursuing various activities. For the first time, it feels like nobody can accurately predict where technology will be in five to ten years from now. AI is the first invention in history that instead of giving power to humans, it can actually take power away from us. And the danger is it will increasingly take more power from us until we are left helpless and clueless about what is happening on our own planet. Let's just hope that we as a collective make the right decisions over the next few years to avoid anything truly negative or even dystopian. Well, yes, that is an existential risk, but again, I think an existential risk not for this century. Mm. I think our grandkids are going to have to confront this question as robots gradually approach the intelligence of a dog, a cat, and finally that of a monkey. Perhaps it's important now than ever before to instill the right values into younger generations before our world turns into their world. In the meantime, however, we can continue living our lives happily, knowing we're doing the best we can to survive, regardless of whether we lose our job to AI or not. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if so, why not watch this one next?